so last time we were in the forest you were kind of making your way towards the the bandit camp you had ambushed some uh came across some bandits and a boar and ambushed them and fought them and i think we're pretty much fresh off of that you guys haven't uh rested or anything i think some of you are still a little bit wounded so i think you guys were gonna medic yeah take take some time and heal up and and then where do you want to decide where do you want to go from there we were talking about drifting kind of in the well we were talking about drifting in the direction of the bandit camp do we want to take a day and has this hex that we're in better explored do we want to spend the time like we're in this hack it's yeah. one action to um reconnoiter it i believe one action to map it um remind Maybe. me we picked up the mushrooms they were did or the fungus or whatever did we return those already uh, uh they were radishes and we did radishes that's um we should probably i think they wanted those soon do we want to return those before we i think we had a, week a to number this? of days that they'd still be fresh i believe okay. but, but i do think we want to like you said return them yep. before we get Stop. too involved going off doing other stuff so I would, I would vote that we reconnoiter this and then go back to make sure the bad guys haven't shown up and to give them, you know, those supplies, the beats or whatever they are. And then, and then, you know, head back out to try to get the bandits. That is just their moon radish. Yeah. One other thing to consider though, is it will take you more actions to reconnoiter. Because uh, it's based on the hex, right? Um, oh yeah, it takes basically the same amount. It takes to cross it, so it's, it's gonna take two, two actions. So that would still put us back at Oleg tomorrow. We could do, unless we have to do both actions in one day. I don't. It doesn't say that. It just says it takes that many actions. So reconnoiter it a bit, camp, yeah, reconnoiter, have, and then travel. You finish reconnoitering and, and half a day of travel back to. And it's. Oleg. It, you're in this square that is difficult terrain, but you'll be moving into the square with Oleg's, which is open terrain, which is more, so it's it's a square you're moving into. That right. counts, right? So if you're moving into the square, it takes two actions. You were gonna uh, move into the to the one to the south. That'd be two. It'd be two. We're moving into Oleg's with one. Correct. Right. I just find it very disturbing that we went to sleep with three horses and we woke up in the morning there's bloody coat on and a skeleton horse <laughs> i got hungry in the middle of the night <laughs> whoa like, <dude>. really <laughs> all right when you get your dog cut and it still has little puff balls of fur around like it's stuff <laughs> at the tip of its tail so you guys make your way back to Oleg's outpost. Get there towards the end of the evening. Make it evening. Did you flag the one hex as reconnoitered? I didn't. Excellent, thanks. He brings Fedlana. You you uh, you ride in as as they're setting up. Um, for, for dinner. And... He brings Fedlana the, uh... The radishes. Moon radishes. No, we don't just bring it to her. Not, no, 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 sir. No. Yeah. We announce you know, that we are bringing <laughs> these these fabled radishes and I, I announce it in a, a very formal tone and then I say please and I in the motion of my friends bring them to her <laughs> <laughs> I 
come through the door first carrying one radish. <laughs> <laughs> one giant radish over your head. Yeah, it's as, it's as big as me. I'm go, go, here's your radish. So you present her with the, the radish. Just one. And then somebody brings in the rest of them. The rest of no, them. no, we bring in the I, rest. I roll yeah. my eyes, walk in with the sack of them and kind of throw it at them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I deserve that. I, I, I totally deserve that. No, that's <laughs> already. Well, she she's, you know. Oh, you're back already with them. I I did not expect you to come back so quick. Well, I I already started dinner tonight. I could have. I can't make them tonight. I I wish I didn't start it already. I would love to make the moon radish soup. But tomorrow or some other time when you're back, I will, I will make, I will save some to make for you guys specifically if you, if you want. And then she does give you guys 15 gold pieces as a reward. Uh, nice. Each or per, for the party? I think each would, would be, it just says she pays anyone who can bring her enough moon radishes. So, this sounds like you paid one. Yeah, once. Yeah, I. I mean, she's not gonna get. That's a lot of money for some yeah. damn radishes. We yeah, want to like put that in the uh, party stash. Sixty gold for a thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, she, in that case, we're gonna go get some friends real quick. We all we all <laughs> give her the one bag of radishes. Work it over, lady. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll add that into the. Uh, uh, party stash. Party stash there for you. Thank you. All right. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, let's go back out there. And I think now it's. Do you guys feel ready to like go in and try to kill these? You know, like we got to come up with a plan. But we should, if we know where everybody is, we could probably go in and kill the uh, kill the bandits. Kill the bandits. Da, 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 da. I do not think we're ready to take on the camp yet. Okay. I mean, we we can go check it out, but I think there are still any. Yeah, we should check it out. That, that's what I'd look for. We can thin their numbers. We can explore around them and such, but I, I don't think we want to even indirectly be trying to take on the camp itself just yet. Like we've eliminated three. Let's find out how many we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, onward, yeah, let's go yeah, do I de- definitely want to reconnoit. I want to get more information, but I, I do not think we're at the point of taking on, okay. like, quote-unquote, taking them out as, a, as an organization yet. Well, maybe we could maybe we could lure some of them away, or we can we can follow some of them out and then, like, ambush yeah, them but, or something. You know, like, more out on the out. Spin the yeah. herd. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that, I think we want to do. It's my thing. <laughs> But we also, we did reconnoiter that hex, so we would have also found anything else of interest. Not, we wouldn't have explored it yet, but we'd know of anything else of interest in that, uh, in that hex if there was anything. Did we find anything else, Joe? Landmarks or whatever? Things of interest? Um, no, there was nothing else. Of note in that hex? Yeah. Why? There, yeah, there was nothing else really, uh, you did reconnoiter it there's other than just mostly forest we're gonna head through the same hex we just reconnoitered and then try to get over to this river is that the plan so yeah th- getting into the squares it is two actions because it's a difficult terrain even though it's reconnoitered yep. or the one after it doing it does, that it doesn't, doesn't change the terrain yeah it doesn't ah. change the terrain type or how long it would take um later in the kingdom building you could build a road through it which you you would spend resources and all that to, to build the road but if you did that it would make it's like one we're less step likely down. to be lost yeah you're less likely to be lost if you map it okay but i think now the priority is finding the bandits and like let's understand just what the risks are here like we don't want to spend too much time away from the fort and have them go around from a different direction and attack and cause other issues is my is what i think oksana would be saying from a strategy standpoint 
But this one, we get two actions a day, and this, this hex is two actions to cross. So we could, like, from, from, uh, Oleg, it takes us a whole day to cross this. But tomorrow, if we want to be in, like, in the next hex, I'm totally down with that. We could start, uh, reconnoitering to find their camp and their, uh, like, commonly used paths and things like that. Cool. cool. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys are about to be setting up camp. So, Penny, uh, you notice movement and spot someone uh, kind of trying to sneak up. They look like they're like kind of darting from tree to bush. And as you're like kind of trying to nonchalantly watch that person you like hear like another like a crack someone stepped on a branch in the opposite direction um I pause oh do I notice you? anything else before I yeah you're just getting the sense of people uh kind of surrounding you in the like you, you I tell everybody to people moving around I kind of tell everybody quietly to, and I would say, like, I pass it around. I'm like, okay, we are being surrounded, everyone. Uh, maybe we, we've worked out some hand gestures, right? That we can kind of like subtly, like, n- pass messages back and forth uh, just to let everybody know, know to be on their guard. And. Penny calls out. And when the jig is up, you see some figures kind of start to, to encircle you guys. And we'll, we'll roll initiative and if you guys want to kind of position yourselves a little bit I don't know kind of being surrounded I would just want to be up front because that's usually what I would do so I'm going to move you notice like as you look around there's there's four of them just so you know there's one here one here one, there's two. one here one here as well okay so yeah Oksana is up first though Oh, Oksana is? Oh, yeah. why did I say... Oh, I thought it she... Okay. Never mind. All good? Okay. Um... No. I would... <clears throat> um... I would probably move a little bit closer here. And then I would use needle darts against this dude that I see over here. Ready? And then I would use cold iron ones. Got it. Good. That hits. Mm. Only a couple. Um, and then, so I moved a couple feet. So that's really, um, that's one action and then that. So I don't that's really have action. anything else. Um, Alrighty. And then Penny, you are up. Yeah. Okay. So um, I want to race forward to attack this guy over here. Um, well, in- I can move twice. And then attack. You can. One Is that thing right? I, I I think I pointed this out to my other group. Um just to like make sure you guys know this is an option to you can hold your turn basically to you know, there's two things you can do is one, there's take mm. two actions to hold your action. So you take two actions and you turn it into one. So you say, I hold my action. If one of them comes close enough, I'll do this. The other thing you can do is hold your turn, which strategically you can say, I'll let them burn their, their actions to come. Like if you run up to him and take two actions to run up to him, then you hit him once well, on his turn. You're right there. He doesn't have to spend any actions to right. get to you. He can just attack you. You could say for strategic purposes is I'm going to hold my action until one of them you know, and then one of them moves, moves, you can say, okay, now I want to go. And then basically let them burn their actions getting to you. 
if you think they're yeah, going to move to you. I think I'll do that then. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, ring tight that. then. Yeah, you do see a couple of them have longbows, but a couple and of them have swords. So, the, um... The problem is, is that I got, um... Oh. It completely puts you on pause in the initiative until you decide to re-enter, and that's what your initiative is moving forward. Yeah, you just yep. mo you permanently yeah. move yourself down in the initiative. Um, and Do I'll I say see which ones have bows? Because the bows are going to be a problem. Sure. Um, so we'll say this. I'm just going to randomly roll it. This is one. That's two, three, four. Okay. So the guy in this corner up here. Uh, and then the guy in the third mm -hmm. corner to you guys have bows. Yeah, the problem is I'm a sitting duck. So I can, if I do, if I, if, if I take the <clears throat> rapier, like the shield thing, then I can't, that's counts. that start, yeah, starts you, the action. You on can't my do turn. anything yep. if you're old. I'm just, I just want to throw that out there. So you guys know that's not, yeah. I wanted to make sure, you know, like, you know what your options are. You're more than welcome to move two rounds because you see those bows and you're like, well, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to be there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move twice. Um, yeah, so that's two moves, and then I'm gonna for I'm actually not going to attack. I'm going to use my um, dueling parry and uh, apply the effect until my next turn. Already. And that's my turn. He chose wisely because he's up next. Thank you. Okay, so he should be taking a penalty to attack you with this. So I'm adjacent. Because you're, yeah, within 30 feet. Want to make sure. So, yeah, it did. Okay. So he missed the volley you... effect on a longbow. Yeah, well, yeah. So it's minus two if he is within 30 feet. Try it one more time. But then he's going to realize this is stupid and swap out his weapon. And that's his turn. Okay, that's one archer down. He's now just a normal schmo. Now the other archer is up. All right, Oksana. And, ooh. Critical hit. The uh, universe has a sick, oh. nah, sick oh. version of luck roll there. Rolling everything privately if you care. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll reveal those to you. You can't see your hack. Yeah, I can't see me cheating over here. Um, <laughs> uh, that's why I like it. Wow. On the deadly, though, he only rolled a one, so uh, that's. I got lucky. <clears throat> so I'm got lucky. a little bit lucky. He was still 15, but yeah. um, and then again, so the second one will go to Claw. I mean, you're 100% guaranteed to have 100% luck if you're the only one selected. Right. That's right. <laughs> lucky me. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. And then he misses the other two. This guy is going to double move, I guess. And Kodon. He's going to try to strike at you with his sword. And he um, does. shield block is... How much is shield block? It's a reaction that you don't have, I don't think. I think well, that's a fighter oh, thing. You had the shield spell on, you would have a shield block reaction with that. Okay. And then you are up, Claw. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then the wolf is going to... Fight for a second action. He is flanking. That should take that into account. Yeah. And 
then for my two actions. Nobody got to hear a point to say, but you know, it's. Excellent. Uh, I moved, I got some attacks in. Uh, my wolf bit the guy for seven points of damage, and then I hit him with needle darts for five points of damage. Um, Ooh, that's convenient. Flat. And that is my turn. And then it is Codon's turn. Okay. So I'm not sure why my horse is not underneath me. Don't mind, I'm going to adjust that because it could be underneath me. And I'm going to ride like the wind. Um, it's got a movement of... So I will ride and then I'm going to attack with uh, yeah, I'm going to do a Divine Lance. Now, his charging doesn't, like, affect my map or anything like that, right? Does not. Because it wasn't? Okay. Oh, critical! Critical, So he gets nice. frightened and critical. I don't know if he could be alive to be uh, frightened. And it applies to frightened... And two. And that would be me. Two. On the hand. Alrighty. That's all. I gotta get like a costume from town with like a... I'm gonna get like a headless horseman costume. <laughs> this guy over here, is he gonna go... Yep, he's gonna go after... He sees a opportunity to take out uh, a weak one. And he's he's gonna kind of rush up to Oksana and swing. He rushes up and he's like, "I love it when they put up a fight and then swings at you and misses." <clears throat> and that's his turn. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna give him the evil eye. Clearly, um. So he has to do a uh, failure. So he is sickened. I'm because he's like right next to me. I'm going to try out this uh, gouging claw here and see what that does. Um, That's gross, man. Here's. Cool, but gross. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. I rolled a one. <laughs> you have hero points. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, did I just get one? <laughs> got another one, yeah. yeah okay, one. so. So I will. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use one of those um, and re roll that crap there. Uh, <laughs> gotta do better than a. A one, right? I mean, <laughs> my God. All right. There we go. So he's sickened. And then... Nice. And bleed. Bleed does uh, ongoing damage, right? Yeah, plus two bleed, so two bleed damage. So that, um, yeah, it's took his time. nine damage. Yep. The bleed damage will happen at the end of his turn. Okay. All right, Penny. I'm hurting, so. <laughs> and Penny, you are up. Okay. Oh. So the first thing I'm going to do is as he's like putting his bow away, I'm going to grab his bow, like the, the bow part, like, and assuming he's hold, kind of holding onto the string, I'm going to pull it back as far as I can. And I'm going to let it go at him and do a dirty trick. And dirty try to, trick. 
Yeah. So I'm going to um, use do a thievery check against the target's reflex DC. Um, and uh, I got a 27, which is a critical success, which means that he's clumsy until they use an interact to end the impediment. Okay. He doesn't take damage, though? Uh, no, he doesn't take any damage, but he's got he's clumsy just... one until he uses an, an interact action to impend, uh, to to like disentangle himself from the bowstring. Uh, okay, so that's my first one, and it says that it's an attack. So the, my second, this would my my rapier attack against him will be my second rapier attack. Is that right? Dirty trick has yep, the attack it... action on it. Yep. Yeah, it does have the attack action. So it would yeah. be the at the second attack penalty. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that trained weapon proficiency, and then it's going to be... So 20 is going to hit. And... I'll maximize the damage for nine. And then for my last action, I'm going to do... And he is badly injured. Okay, good, good. Nice nice to hear. Uh, I'm going to do my dueling parry for my last effect, which takes my AC back up to 21. And that's the end of my turn. Good turn. His turn now. Um, Way to be tactical, man. Good job. He's going to try to swing at you. And miss. Take one more time, and then he's going to miss again. He's going to try to take an action. Does he have to make a save or anything to get out of this clumsiness? He has to interact with the action to end it. Okay, so he basically just takes an action and, and kind of untangles himself a yeah. bit. Okay. Yep. So yeah, he'll do that. And then that's his turn. This guy down here, my coat on. Hello. He's frightened. Terrifying. Is he, you know, he's frightened too because you got a critical, right? Uh-huh. All right, and he had his bow out, so he's going to try to shoot at you, but... That's miss. Yeah, aim wild. Yeah, he's got this stupid longbow that after this shot, he's probably going to try to swap out. Oh, he actually managed to hit you on that one. <gasps> Four, 18, eight, not 18, eight damage. So for eight damage, and then he's going to swap out his weapons, and that's his turn. Claw, you are up. All right. Uh, I am going to try to finish this one by Akana, I think. 10, 15, 25, 30, and then tell him to bite of this guy. So I'm not flanking. But that'll do, because he's thickened. Thank you for that. Hulk, for three points of damage. Dead. Uh, so he took three damage. He is uh, near death, but he's not um, dead. And... Uh, Oh, go big or go home. I'm going to cast Thunderstrike on him. This dude's Thunderstrike! Beast fail, uh, DC-17. Flex. Ooh, he That's a fail. Oh, he failed. Right. Because he's sickened? All right, again, uh -huh. because he's sickened. Yes. Thank yeah. you again for that. <laughs> that evil eye. Thank you for the recommendation. A total of four more points of damage. And that is uh -huh. enough. 
And that ends my turn. Righty. Code on. Okay. Uh, Down here by yourself with this guy. Yep. Creeping him out, though. I, he's freaking him out. Okay. Uh, he is going to hoof him. Come on, hoof. Strike. Oof. That's a miss. I'm going to totally re-roll that and mess. Uh, re-roll and keep the new result. Come on, Lucky! Hey, that's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Heading off. Uh, do companions count for my map attacks? Yes, they do. Okay. So then I'm going to use my attack is going to be at the map. So, and unfortunately, I forgot to take that into consideration. Get a spell that had a oh, I, saving throw. I didn't. I didn't actually forget that. I couldn't find one. That's what it was. Uh, there's just nothing. No cantrips at this level that have a saving throw. There's no toll the dead. Come on, give me a toll the dead. Um, I'm going to try divine lance anyway, and I need a map. Give me a map. Give me a map. Give me a map. Give me a map. Oh, it did anyway. Got it. Uh, and then roll damage. And for six points of damage, and that is all my actions. Apply that damage, go down, and that's enough to kill him. I think there's still one left up here by Penny. And Oxala is next. Yep. Okay. Um, 25 feet away from you. Part of the problem and have too much for that range. I will move 25 feet movement. So I'll move to like kind of up over here and then shoot this guy with needle darts. Okay, critical hit. Great. Critical. Damn it. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna... Now, I'm just about to wind up and Oksana kills him. <laughs> Penny turns around, looks at me, and I shrug and go out. <laughs> <laughs> Radishes. Well, let's loot the bodies, right? Oh. Let's loot those bodies, yeah? Yeah, yeah. A longsword, composite, but studded leather armor. That's better than leather armor, isn't it? Ooh, you got a healing potion, which I need. <laughs> it is. Healing potion? Studded leather has higher armor value, but lower act dex cap. It requires a point of strength higher to wear it. If you're going to swapping it, look at all the stats first. Yeah. Well, at the very least, I'm going to take what? one of the healing potions. I thought Penny uh, looked. Penny's already got studded leather armor on. She might. Yeah. You notice on these guys, they're wearing this amulet that has like a little like stag skeleton head. It's it's kind of weird though as you look at it the. Instead of the skull of like a typical deer or whatever, it looks more bestial, more wolf-like, or maybe even bear. Kind of, it's hard to tell. It definitely looks more like predator type, like, but it also has antlers. It, it may make sense to like take some of this armor and swords and longbows and stuff if we're not going to take it with us to like try and go and stash it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys could take. Like 
have horses. We should be able to put it on the horse and take it to Oleg. But, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, hey, let's go stash it and maybe on our way back from whatever we do with these bandits, like, we can try to... We have three horses. Like, we should be able, if not... It doesn't weigh so much that we wouldn't be able to put it on the horses. No, well, then let's, let's put it on there, right? Yeah, so your horses are out there, so you guys can do that and finish setting up camp. So you guys camp. So the night goes pretty pretty smoothly. Um, there's a couple times where you guys are on watch. You, you definitely hear some wildlife is bustling around, but nothing uh, that would come close enough to the camp to disturb you or need you to raise the alarm. Uh, you wake up well rested. So you guys are still in this forest camp. You did did notice the the bandits that that you had run into before so far. Like this is the first ones that you've run into with those necklaces. Oh, they're different than the previous ones. Well, yeah, the the you other ones didn't have those bandits before. Yeah, you saw that. Um, I don't. I don't believe so. I think we ran into him, and I said, "Oh, they're not supposed to have those. Ignore that." Uh, so this is the first time okay, that you've come across. No worries. Yeah, this is the first time you've come across. Um, you know them wearing and and you think like if one of them was wearing it, you would think, "Oh, that's a weird necklace." But all four of them wearing the same necklace, you you know, would uh, pro- probably infer some sort of some sort of meaning behind that. Uh, have we heard mention of this stag organization? Like, we have questioned the the, the guy yeah. that we captured alive. Like, did he mention? Yeah, they, um, he did, and so did, um, you know, like Oleg and Svetlana would have told you that uh, there is someone in there called the Stag Lord who has been gathering um, forces and just kind of like he seems to be the one kind of solidifying most of the, the bandits local gang boss where his location is we, we don't know he, the the bandit that the one that you captured and have kind of like you know tied up and are going to turn in um, at Oleg's he says that they work for him but uh, the camp that he's in is, is kind of like an outpost or whatever and you know they basically send stuff off to the stag lord but he doesn't really know much about the stag lord yet I hadn't got to meet the guy or anything so okay. new day you got two actions or what do we what's the plan for Ooh, today into the next uh, into the next square next excited square yep yep yes Ethan, Kevin, you guys good with if I were there? there. Yep. That sounds great. So that's our first action, and then I guess do we reconnoiter for the second one? I think it's two yeah, actions. Yeah, that would away. take two it's actions. Difficult. This is a little bit difficult terrain. And then okay, tomorrow okay, we, so can we get into that two square. more actions doing a reconnoiter, and that would find the camp as well as any other points of interest. Cool. Let's we could do that. stumble across the camp, but like reconnoiter is how we would normally find that. Do the little camping mini game again. <laughs> Did you roll it again? Oh wait, uh, yeah. Like some, for some reason, it's listed back in the activities. It, it was listed up at the top. It's also listed as the activities, and I don't know why. This interface is still a little confusing. So I just changed it back to the success. So. Uh, Penny also did a uh, great job at um, securing the thing while Claw cooked. Oh, critical success. An awesome nice. meal, finally. I redeemed my Penny little self. Not used to plating nice. on such large plate. <laughs> now remember the 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 performance check for, for yours. So the first round... Um, We'll do the camouflage website, prepare the website, uh, second round, yep. cooking meal, Penny telling her story. Yep. Third round, hunt and gather for, for uh, Claw. Now, Oksana in, in Codon, like, mm-hmm. don't want to leave you guys out if there's something that you, you know, want to try to do too. Uh, I mean, if you know, nothing matches brain. up. 
Yeah, survival is just not something I'm trained in at all. Yeah. You can also, like any other kind of da downtime activity, whether you're doing this, you can fully be resting or, you know, take a downtime activity or just kind of like, hey, I'll, I'll keep watch, you know, during that time in the camp. It's just uh, making sure if there's something you feel like you would be good at that you want to try. And I think that's all of it. That was pretty quick. So we'll say the next day you uh, take your two actions, reconnoiter, and... You do see signs of, like, a camp. You see smoke, uh, you know, some signs of smoke. And it's it's kind of set up. There's, like, a... Kind of near the river. There's, like, a river that runs through this... Um, through this hex, through this area. And it's, like, from the direction you're coming, it's, it's on the other side of the river. So you do see, si like, you know, signs of, of smoke coming up. Um where you think probably someone set up a camp. So, yeah, you notice that smoke and you guys all get a hero point and so how do you want to uh how do you want to deal with that signs of life this smoke? Investigate cautiously, cautiously like from a from a distance, from a distance. Yeah. Try to see how many people there are, how many people come and go, how often along what route. Sure. So you're kind of like on the north or northwest side of the river from it. Um, do you want to circle around across the... It looks like it's on the other side of the river, but it looks like it's like right near the river. Do you want to cross the river, you know, like go down or upstream and then cross and then approach the camp? Or do you want to approach it from the other side? Probably approach it from the land side, right? Move around wide? Yeah. Obviously, keeping an eye out for any guards or sentries they might have in the vicinity. All right. And are you all going up together? I'd imagine, like, a couple of you would uh, unmount and then approach. Are you all going? Are you going to send someone as a scout? I mean... Tell me how, tell me how you go about approaching to scout it out. Yeah, who's most roguelike? Sneaky. Penny is uh, the highest. Probably Penny or I. Yeah, Penny is at yeah. plus eight. Claws at plus seven. So it's probably going to be me. And then if they if they follow me, then I'm going to run like hell. Okay, guys? Just Sounds FYI. good. All right. Um, do you want to set me up with a stealth check? Or do I just go to my character sheet and do it? Yeah, I'll put, put one in the... Uh... The chat there. Put one in the chat. Yeah. Can you see yeah. That? You got that little shenanigan. To... But I didn't. So, as far as the approach, like what direction do you want to try to approach from? How do you want to approach? Um, I'll I'll approach from uh. I'll approach from the let's say the south, randomly. Uh, um, and then, uh, what I'll do is um. Yeah, I'll just I'll start there, and then we'll see what what you describe, and then we'll kind of respond to that. I'm gonna put everyone on the map, just like you'll be a little bit. Uh, but basically, yeah, you come up and you see there's like a little camp here. Um, it's fairly spread out, um, and you take a minute to watch, and you see. Um, actually, give me another perception. Other map if you were trying to put us on a new map yeah we're not I, I'm putting your characters oh, I haven't okay. activated yet okay uh, the, the way you were saying it, it sounded like we were supposed to be seeing the new map and you do see like kind of a setup uh, where a couple people are standing around uh, campfire you see like one post that's kind of like kind of like a stand built up next to a tree Did I just hit the right button? Did you set me up with stealth and I just rolled? Yeah, you rolled stealth check and then I put a perception in there as well. Okay. So yeah, you notice that there's two, like you notice another one of those watch posts on the uh, west side of the river as well. And, and as a wagon, let me... Those black squares that are ascending upward, those are the towers? 
Yeah, you can't really see onto the top of them very well, especially uh-huh. from the ground. But uh, they look like you 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 see kind of like a uh, one of the sides has like an opening or whatever. Like you would imagine that there would, you know, it'd probably be a post for somebody to 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 be a like hunter's there. blind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you see a few people kind of milling about. There's a few people at the campsite, but you once in a while spot movement from up up north. Excuse me, uh, of someone that kind of like just walking around. Uh, you know, once in a while is coming around here, back and forth. Where is the? Uh, the and alert. is there? Sean, what what was the question? Where is the, like the the center of this, the campfire or whatever that you said that like some people occasionally congregate to? Over here. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. I didn't even look that far over on the map. Thank you. Gotcha. And what was your question, Penny? Oh, I was just wondering. Like, okay, so like. Oh, is it going to be hard to cross this river? Is it a low river? Is it super fast? It's it's fairly like the road towards it. Yeah, like there's this part here. Like you look like it looks like you can get that wagon over it. You know, like it's not super deep, super. It's crossable. Same thing up here. Yeah. One person yeah, who stands so out to you. Is, yeah, you see, you spot this. Mm. You know, Fima, you've you've had descriptions of her for she like wielding axes, uh Kressel. Merkel Bach. She's at the campfire? Yeah, she's over near the campfire. And we like I just wonder so I'd come back to the group, I'd describe what I see, and then I would say, you know, I kinda think, you know, we should get a distraction going if we're gonna try to take these this 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 small camp on. Um, I mean it's gonna be tough, but could we could we like start a fire on that um part if nobody's there and uh and get people to come to it and then like be like to the north and then like fire down on them or shoot down or race down to attack them as they try to put out the the cart fire we think we're ready to take on half a dozen or more in their own home defensive turf yet you do think that this like create like it gives you a plus two to create a diversion so if you were gonna attempt to like create a diversion you would be rolling that check anyways like using this spell to bolster that basically would give you a plus two to it um to that check uh, john i think it's a great question man are we really ready for that it's like oh, those bird nests or hunter's lines or whatever you want to call them like I don't think we're going to get near that wagon without being seen for, by the one. If, uh, that one bird's nest uh, hunter's blind thing to the west looks like it's specifically to overlook the road there. And the other one to overlook their own camp. You figure that there's probably people up there with bows. Yeah. I mean, we only see how many? Four or five? Uh, he said a couple people around the campfire, plus the one walking back and forth. You've seen a total of five people. You see, like, one person that's patrolling towards the north. You see another person that's kind of coming back and forth. You know, he'll, he'll come and... He stopped up by the campfire and chit chat a little bit, and that the woman um, would like kind of you know snap at him, give him some orders, and he sheepishly walks away and you know starts. Every once in a while, you see him pass pass back by, just kind of look around, just you know taking taking rounds, basically patrol. So total head count that you spot is five. Well, maybe what we do is we. 
come back next week and figure out what the like have a have a plan we can talk online and I don't know. Sounds good. See you. Yeah. Cool. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. Thanks for running, Joe. Yep. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Yeah, thanks, Joe.